So greetings, friends and followers. This is Nurses Talking, and I am Del Barzi. And as always, if you like what you see and hear, subscribe. Leave us a message. Tell us what you think. Here on Nurses Talking, we speak to nurses anywhere in the world and at any stage in their nursing journey, from students to retirees and anywhere in between. And so today, it is my very, very great pleasure to welcome Ms. Annette Tersini. Annette is an RN, former Hollywood actor and cover girl, turned nurse healer and wellness crusader. She is the founder of Yoga Nurse and the Yoga Nurse Model of Care, a new global movement in healthcare, nursing, and yoga. And it is a best-selling author, speaker, trainer, and online entrepreneur. For the past 25 years, she has motivated thousands of nurses, patients, and students to live more enlightened, healthful, and spiritual lifestyles. And it is a popular guest who is frequently featured on national TV, radio, nursing blog, apps, and podcasts. And she lives in the pristine Outer Banks in Beaufort, North Carolina. And Annette's um, website uh, address will be in the description box. It's www.yoganurse.com. Welcome, 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 Annette. I receive your welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing this. Um, so my usual thing is, I think it's so important that I always ask nurses why, why are they nurses? So why are you a nurse? Why am I a nurse? Mm -hmm. What brought you to nursing? What brought me to nursing? Oh, that's a big one, Dale. I didn't start off as a nurse. Nursing is a second career for me. Mm -hmm. And the answer in short is what brought me to nursing was a calling. Because I didn't want to be a nurse when mm -hmm. I was a young woman. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was a calling, and I was called to nursing late in life, and that's a whole other story. So <laughs> I'll, that's that's my quick answer. How's that? <laughs> that was a calling. So here is the thing: if you when you come to something like that, because nursing takes a lot out of you, and so you come to nursing later in life, you you say, what particular challenges did you face then? Oh, well, I was 51 years old when I graduated. So that'll tell you something right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As most nurses, it's their first profession. And again, there's also more and more a trend that there are women and men coming into the nursing profession as a second or maybe even a third yeah. profession. Even, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Typically, right? Historically. And that history is changing as as we speak right now for Indeed. nurses now. Nurses come in uh, out of high school or it's continuing education. So I was in school, in school, in college with women and men, mostly women and some men who are 18, 19, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could have been their parent or yeah. in some cases grandparent. And yeah. then there were the nurses that were in their mid twenties or thirties that were single parents that were looking for another career. And I was the oldest person in my class. I was mm -hmm. older than some of my professors. <laughs> yeah. So there were challenges because I hadn't been in college or university for many years. I went to university when I was young to the University of Toronto in um, art history, very far away from nursing. So it'd been you know decades that I hadn't been in school and to get into that. And then I had to have chemistry and I had to have biology, which I had flunked in high school. I didn't <laughs> You too. <laughs> so if I wanted to be a nurse, I had to be serious about it. So before the call 
college would accept me, I had to go back to night school and study in physics and biology. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I did. And this time, and math, and algebra, and all of that stuff that you need <laughs> for nursing. Yes. yes. This time, I applied myself. I was into it. So uh -huh. it's amazing what you can do when you apply yourself. And suddenly, because I had been a student of uh, mysticism for years, I was a yoga teacher before I became a nurse. I was interested in quantum physics. In any case, that's a long-winded answer. Mm -hmm. I had my challenges, <laughs> but I had the calling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I followed through. And becoming a nurse and a yoga teacher was the best combination that I could have ever found in my lifetime. So you were a yoga teacher who became a, a, a nurse. Usually it's the other way around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was always, I was always doing things the other way around. <laughs> so I danced to the tune of a different drummer. And for years it went against me until it went for me. And I found my rhythm. And that's yeah. the same for all of us. That's Indeed. maybe some of your listeners are thinking, wow, you know, there's still hope. There's, there's, still hope. Hope. <laughs> there's always hope. There is always hope. There is always hope. Yes. And, 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 yes. and so as, as a yoga um as a yoga teacher, um one of one of your core things I would say is is balance, right? So first of all, you had what throws you out of balance and what brings you back into balance. Mm. Yes, indeed. The the question of balance, or perhaps it's a myth. Is it's, there any anything? Is is it is there really balance? Well, yes. Do you think I that there's balance? I would have to say I'm back to you because I do have an answer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Even balance. Um, I think that there is balance. I absolutely think that there is balance. I think it's easy. To be to be thrown out of balance, but there is balance. I do agree. Although at different times in my life I wavered on that. Yes. However, I do believe even that yin yang, so to speak, the mm -hmm. light and the dark, the wave, the tides. You know that is um, the nature of the universe. Really, the breath comes in, the breath comes out. So what puts me out of balance is when I'm not breathing. Uh -huh. Awareness. Uh -huh. And I have a stress or an anxiety attack or an attack of depression. And I'm um, apt to all of those, quite frankly. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't live there anymore. I have the tools to get me out of that. So um, overstimulation from too much scrolling Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> yeah. And this and on the computer, overwhelm. Yeah. Yeah. So what brings me back to balance is stillness and awareness that I'm breathing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And every day I start my day with a prayer and meditation and enlightening, uplifting reading every day. And I usually end it that way. And then mm -hmm. throughout the day, I sprinkle in moments with reminders on my phone from mm -hmm. different apps and stuff. You know, there's yeah. a lot of support out there yeah. to uh, remind me to take a moment to be still. And yeah. to stretch, yeah. to have a stretch and to get up off of the couch and move. So deep breathing, stretching and relaxation, rest, prayer, meditation. That brings me back to balance. When I'm in the yoga nurse model of care, we call it SAPS. S-A-P-S. S-A-P-S means S for stress, A for anxiety, P 
for pain and S for suffering. Stress, and anxiety, pain, and suffering. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, some of the ways I find balance, Dale. What about Good. you? I'm, I'm glad that you, I was about to say, I'm glad that you mentioned um, breathing. Um, because for me, that is that is my go-to thing. Uh, and it's not a very complicated breathing. It's just <laughs> remembering to breathe, <laughs> you know. Um, it, it's something that I, I started practicing many years ago when I, I realized I found myself getting stressed and all of that. And just remember to breathe. I had actually, um, it, was, it was a patient, not, not for nothing, it was a patient who on his dying day, really the very last conversation i had with a patient on his dying day and he realized that i was distressed that he was dying and he said to me i'm okay breathe take a minute breathe um and that was so for me that was such a huge thing it was like okay <laughs> i mean here he is you know he's dying and he knows it um but he took the time to tell me, breathe, it's okay. That really is when I started paying attention to how, how healing and how calming and how centering just paying attention to your breathing can be. So that's what I do. Wow, what a beautiful story. Yeah. That and kind it, of took my breath away, but it's yes. good. <laughs> You know, it, it, every time I tell it, it takes my breath away. Every time I tell it, it takes my breath away because I, I can't even imagine. I don't know if I've ever met anyone else in my whole lifetime. Other than my, mo my mother, I was there when my, my mother died and, and her concern was really for us. But other than my mother, I don't know that I've ever met anyone outside my immediate family whose concern on their dying day was for me. You know, I mean, it was, it, it's, um, I still get goose pimples when I think about it. See, that's part of the honor and the privilege. Yes, exactly. Exactly. exactly, exactly, exactly. All right. So your mission and vision as a yoga ness. What is your mission? What is it you're hoping to achieve with this? Mm -hmm. Well, it's been 20 years, time and illusion like that, yes? Yes. So it's part of the calling that came when I was studying to become an Ayurvedic educator, Ayurveda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the science of life and longevity. It's the sister science of yoga. So, mm -hmm. you know, they go hand in hand. Go, mm -hmm. And I studied with Deepak Chopra. And <laughs> before anybody knew about him and nobody knew about Ayurveda and way back club, yes. Um, part of the calling. So, and then I went to nursing school. Part of the calling. Because when I was with Deepak, I was studying with doctors and nurses to become an Ayurvedic educator. But I was already a yoga teacher. They hadn't done the yoga part. They had the science part. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I'm sitting with all these nurses, Dale. You know, and I'm in my late 40s by this point. Already yes. a yoga teacher, successful, but still looking. The calling was developing. Yeah. And I remember one day being in the audience, sitting beside a, a row of nurses and thinking to myself, if I was a nurse and a yoga teacher. Whoa. <laughs> I just knew that that would be such an incredibly powerful combination. And in that moment, the yoga nurse was born with some other stories down yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. I became a nurse. And in my graduation, I was privileged to be invited to a conference by the professors that were teaching me that I was 
the same age or older than. And the guest for that event was Dr. Gene Watson, the living legend. The living legend. Leading nurse theorist of our time. Yeah. And when I met Jean and I was with her for those two days that she was teaching on campus. Now remember, I'm coming in as a yoga teacher who's just graduated, cum laude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Elected with the privilege of being the nurse to attend this. And by the end of the program, I'm thinking and knowing and saying, she's a spiritual teacher. Jean Watson is a great academic, make no mistake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's a doctor can chime with the best of them. Make no mistake, darling. She's got it going on, right? <laughs> but that's infused with that spirit and that light. And so I knew then that my vision of combining yoga and nursing was going to happen. Jean Watson was the confirmation. And now, all these years later, Jean and I, Jean endorses the yoga nurse model of care. So the mission that I had to give you the backstory. Of course, of course. <laughs> the mission of the yoga nurse, yoga nursing, the yoga nurse model of care. Okay, so here's the mission and the vision. It's a mission. It's a a uh, movement, it's a ministry. Okay. And it is to create a global army of modern nightingales to uplift the ailing healthcare system, to expand consciousness in healthcare, to relieve stress, anxiety, pain, and suffering. Yes. And nurses and all whom they serve around the world. So yes. is that a mouthful? But that's our mission. It's a short paragraph if you would read it, but that's it. That's, it may be a short paragraph, but it's a huge mission. <laughs> it's yeah. a huge mission. Yes, I can see it. I can see it. Um, what, a, what, a, what, a, what a thing it would be, huh? What a thing it would be. What a thing it is. It is. What a thing it is. It is what because thing it is. thousands of nurses now all over the world globally who've taken our training. What and thing it is. continue to come as there's this exponential um, voice in the universe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That more and yeah. more nurses are becoming aware of. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. So you dropped your little pebble in the pond and look at those ripples go. You could put it that way. Look and it's those a adjunct go. therapy. It's something that nurses can continue in nursing, but nurses that love that holistic plan yeah. of care, that lifestyle that is embodied in the yoga nurse model or yoga generically, they mm -hmm. can learn how to apply the yoga nurse model of care in any area of nursing and indeed also explore the possibility of nurse entrepreneurship yes. so there's infinite yes. possibilities yeah 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 i like that word infinite because as as nursing and nurses go it is infinite it is infinite it is infinite. What advice would you give to someone who wants to be a nurse? Now, at any stage, because you came to work later. So. <laughs> what advice would I give? Yeah. I would say, if you are considering becoming a nurse, to absolutely go for it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Nursing, especially today, is we're in the midst of a shift. Uh -huh. And yes, we are. A major shift of the perception of nurses and nursing. Yes. And our power and empowerment. And with the different ways that you can practice nursing, not just in the hospital, although most of us all start there, we need to be able to walk the walk. 
Mm -hmm. before we can talk the talk and expand the possibilities. So nursing offers so many various ways to practice. Yes, and that's indeed. a whole other program that we could do on, you know, with a, a whole uh, panel. It, yes. Nurses, yes. nurse oh, entrepreneurs that are nursing in different <clears throat> ways off the floor. Yeah. Yeah, indeed, indeed, oh, go indeed. For it. We serve in so many different areas. We serve in so many different areas. I, I, and I love it. I love it. I love it. One of the things, though, that when I speak to nurses is that I like to remind them or to, or to, or to touch on um, is self-care. Because very often we neglect ourselves. Very often we neglect ourselves. And so I ask nurses, what does self-care mean to you? You're asking me, right? Yeah. You ask nurses what I'm does self-care mean to you? And yeah, and I'm asking you, what does self-care oh, mean boy. to you? Well, that's another whole program. You know <laughs> what, honestly, Dale, the word self-care now, I know a lot of nurses right now, they have a hard time even hearing the word. They're tired of hearing about, I know this because I hear it reflected to me all the time. Yeah, yeah. They're tired of hearing about the self-care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As if they're not doing enough, that they're mm -hmm. not enough. Mm -hmm. And I would like to um, suggest that perhaps we could frame it instead of self-care. This is something coming up for me recently that I've been writing about, mm -hmm. putting out into the ether, so to speak, is how about self-compassion? Yeah, yeah. Can, mm -hmm. can you resonate we talk about that. with self-compassion? Compassion mm -hmm. for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that then I can care for myself. Mm -hmm. However, I feel, and this is heavy, but then... I'm not holding back. Okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pussyfoot around. I came into nursing really late in life, Dale. And I saw in nursing that's been carried for generations in the soul of the ancestry of nursing, a terribly low self esteem. Yeah, self -esteem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the lack of self-care, in my opinion, and it's just my opinion, doesn't mean it's absolute truth, <laughs> okay, is an underlying lack of self-worth in the nursing profession yes. that we've been run over. Yes. Over and over and yes. over again for decades and decades and decades. And finally, that is shifting so the more that we empower ourselves with self-esteem mm -hmm. on our feeling good instead of the bullying paradigm yes get over it yeah really yeah because that's tied into the bullying because i'm not good enough so yes. somehow i act out on the other yeah. So I want nurses to wake up, not just nurses, everybody, to wake up to the fact that we need to learn how to feel good about ourselves because there's a negativity bias built into our society. That's fact. Yeah. That's like mm -hmm. yeah. Bias. I'm not good enough, Whip. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So self care is a big one but self-compassion self-esteem yeah. you know that's the jewel and then mm -hmm. you find the way back to caring yep 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 and as you talk about self-compassion um so that brings me to another question um hmm. because i ask all the time and i ask nurses what would you, if you just had to describe the most essential quality, the most recognizable quality of a nurse in just one word, what would it be? What would that word be? Recognizable quality of a nurse? Mm -hmm. 
the most recognized. And I ask that because I realize that I can I can recognize a nurse without ever being told that that person is a nurse. And I started to wonder, what was it that I saw that made mm -hmm. me know that that person is a nurse? Uh, and, and I started to wonder, then did other people see that in me? So what would you say is the most recognizable quality? What would make you recognize a nurse? We've just What's the quality? You, darling. It's it comes up. It's com up. compassion. It's yes. Compassion. But yes. what about for the self? We also yep. have I bring that up all the time. We give it away. We give it away. Extend it to it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have to fill our cup so we can continue to have that compassion and offer yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. we want to receive it as well. Yep. Exactly. 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 Um, that self compassion thing is something that we, uh, I don't know if we have, we have to learn, we have to relearn, we have to relearn because um, our, our, our experience and our, even our education teaches us to, to give it to everyone else. Yeah. I like the relearn. Yeah. I think we have to relearn. Yeah. So, Annette, before we go, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Hmm. <laughs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> but I'll tone it down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, there is, and um, I spoke to you about Dr. Gene Watson. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know that Dr. D Jane Watson wrote the, uh, the forward. The forward. Yes, the forward for the book. Let us talk for a book. Yeah, a book, right? Yeah, that you yeah. Told me about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, 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 a collaboration of nurses. The book is "Let Us Talk Future Nurse," and yes, she wrote the forward. Right. So we're familiar with Dr. Jean Watson. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Dr. Jean Watson and uh, her esteemed colleagues, uh, Dr. Mary Rockwood Lane and Kathy Douglas, have begun a new nursing platform to address all these things we're talking about, Dale, and that you talk about with other nurses and the relearning and the new paradigm. Mm -hmm all of the different options and so much riffing on that and beyond. So the new nursing platform they've created is called the nursing way, the nursing way. The and nursing I know way. you put it, you know, in the, in yeah, in the description, mm -hmm. world, right? Yeah. With yeah. And, all that. and it is formidable and it's the new paradigm, the new shift in nursing. And, uh, I'm going to be a guest on there. Now, Jean is the, the leader on there, and there are many other guests that are being invited uh, to share on the Nursing Way platform. I'm going to be a guest on the platform Congratulations. on February 27th, 2023. Mm -hmm. and if you're watching this in the future, there'll be a <laughs> recording of it in the Nursing Way. <laughs> big deal. But bigger mm -hmm. than that is that the big three that I just mentioned have also invited me to be a leader in the very first. Now, this is a separate, separate gig, a separate deal from the nursing way over here in the very first nursing app, an app for nurses right here, right there on the phone. Use when they're on the job, whether they're in direct patient care, private practice, or in other areas of nursing, nursing education, nursing students, you name it, that will give them actionable, short, quick, little techniques that they can use to help them when they're losing their self-esteem, when they're lacking compassion, when yeah. the light is going dim, how to light that lamp again. Yeah, yeah. And keep sharing the compassion. So yeah, yeah. so that's what I have to share. 
Okay, that's, that's awesome. That's all. That's awesome. Um, and an app that is like right there at your fingertips because you know we're all we're all so joined to our phones uh, these days. It's an extension of our hands these these days. So <laughs> to have an app though that that is right there that 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 you can get these little gems from um, so quickly and so easily is is awesome. It's really be right awesome. There, right there. <laughs> I need a minute. Give me something in a Give minute me. so I don't go crazy and I can stay in this profession. You know, <laughs> have those yeah. moments. Yeah, we have those moments. We have those moments. Sometimes <laughs> more, more often, sometimes more often than we want to admit. <laughs> yeah, but this whole program that you're doing is about admitting the truth, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is about admitting the truth. It is about admitting <laughs> Oh, Annette, thank you so, so very, very much for this conversation. Um, it has been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure, a privilege, an inspiration. Thank you so much. Oh, couldn't have done it without you. All back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Dale. All right, thanks.